Welcome back to the OpenCV3 installation and configuration on Windows 10 unofficial tutorial and let's get right into part two here OpenCV installation and configuration with Python so let's go back to the microcontrollers and more github page and OpenCV3 Windows 10 installation tutorial and there's only three .py files I believe in here yes canny still canny webcam and red ball tracker we'll get to each of those three but first let's download the cheat sheet so OpenCV3 Python 2.x and we could read it on here but it's better to go to raw and save it to the desktop and where are we here desktop there we go and save and download is complete so we're all set there and let's go ahead and open it up scroll up to the top and get started uh, so um, for those who are Python experts uh, point one here uh, you're probably already aware that um, it is possible to have Python 2 and 3 uh, concurrently installed on the same computer. Um, for anybody that's new to Python or new to OpenCV or especially new to both, uh, that adds some additional confusion and additional steps, so I'd rather skip that. So um, I'm going to continue on with this video supposing you only have Python 2 installed. Um, for anybody that is interested in that in more detail, please refer to the python.org website. And for those who already who are Python exports, they already know how to do that, but if you're going through this for the first time, if you're totally new to Python or to OpenCV or especially to both, I'd really recommend just uninstalling Python 3 if you haven't installed already. Remove any references to Python 3 uh, from your path variable and then reboot so you're only using Python 2 going forward. So continuing on here, uh, we're going to download the latest version of OpenCV, for example OpenCV 3.0.0, and we did that in the previous video so no need to go over it again here so uh, 3 make a folder OpenCV 3.0.0 or whichever version you're using um, and extract OpenCV uh, to there again we covered that in the previous video uh, so download and install the latest Python uh, 2.x not Python 3 so for example Python 2.7.10 so for anybody that's not familiar with the Python site PYTHLN let's show you what that looks like quickly and you're going to go to downloads here and then Python 2.7.10. Uh, something that I found with Windows 10 is often you have to run programs as administrator. And if, uh, let's go to C and then downloads, that's where I prefer to download most stuff. If you right click on any executable program and choose run as administrator, it gives you this option here. The Python file, however, is a .msi file and Windows doesn't really think of that as uh, an installer or an executable uh, how it would with an exe so you'll notice there is no uh, run as administrator option so the workaround for that which I would recommend is if you go down here to CMD and then right click on command prompt and go to run as administrator choose yes of course so now we're in an administrative command prompt so now we could simply CD uh, dir cd do wn -L -O -A -D -S. we can uh, let's see dir so now that we're in an administrative command prompt we can type the name of the python install which is python dash 2.7.10 msi and then I'm not going to do it because I've already installed it but you would press enter now and it would install in administrative mode so the install, the, uh, install would get get going for you without any error due to not being administrative and I've, I've kind of explained that in Appendix A, but I think maybe just going through the steps on the screen might uh, help, might make things a little bit more clear for somebody that's new to Windows 10 especially. Uh, so continuing on step 4C here, uh, during the install, uh, there's only one screen where you'll have to choose something other than the, the defaults, and that's uh, there's a screen titled Customize Python 2.7.10, and when you get to there, you want to scroll down to Add Python EXE to Path, and then there's a drop down you're going to uh, click on that and choose will be installed on the local hard drive and this will add python to your path uh, so then continuing on reboot and make sure that c colon backslash python 27 is in your path variable if not add it and reboot again so we'll just do a real quick check on that path and sure enough there we go c uh, colon backslash python 27 backslash so we're all set and then step six download and install the latest uh, numpy uh, by the way, this can be pronounced either uh, NumPy or NumPy. Um, that's short for numbers for Python. And th the reason that we need NumPy or NumPy is because in uh, OpenCV 2 and 3, uh, OpenCV images are stored as NumPy arrays when working with them within Python. So uh, to do significant operations on images, you're going to need to download uh, NumPy. So you might as well go ahead and download it now. And I'll show you 
where that's located. So NUMPY, and their web page is pretty straightforward. And then you're going to choose Getting Numpy, and then let's see here, uh, Source Forge site for Numpy. And then that's going to take you to Source Forge, and you want to choose Numpy, and then the latest version, which currently is 1.9.2. .2. And we do need to exercise some caution here. There's three NumPy 1.9.2 executable downloads. So the first one is for, if you take a look at the pop-up text there, Python 3.4 EXE. But remember, we're using Python 2.7, so not that one. Python 3.3, but again, we're using 2.7, so not that one. And then this is the one we'd want to get, Python 2.7 EXE. So you have to make sure that your NumPy is for the version of Python that you're using. And again, um, I found that with the NumPy install, you're, you're going to want to right click on that executable and choose uh, Run as Administrator to prevent the installation from hanging on Windows 10. Uh, and if you don't want to use Idle, uh, which is the editor that ships with Python, you can download and install another Python editor. I recommend PyCharm. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to find PyCharm. P-Y-C-H-A-R-M, but I'll just show anybody that uh, might not have seen their page before, PyCharm JetBrains, and then go to Get PyCharm Now, and they have a pay version, but that's really not necessary for what we're going to do today. You can just download the community version, go ahead and install it, and all the defaults are fine there. And the next step here is copy cv2.pyd. I'm going to move this over to the other screen for just a moment. So we're going to go to C, uh, Open CV 300, Open CV, uh, Build, Python 2.7 x86 and then we're going to copy this file here cv2.pyd copy and then we're going to go to C Python 27 lib and then site packages and then you would go ahead and choose paste here at this point I'm not going to do that because you can see I've already pasted it there and since at that point we'll have installed uh, some software. The next step you're going to want to do is to reboot. And then uh, let's return to our microcontrollers and more GitHub page and decide which example uh, we're going to use. Actually, we'll cover all three of these in the video today, but we'll start with cannystill.py. So uh, next is to make a new um, Python file and name it as preferred. So for example, we can just do this on the desktop here. So new uh, text document. So cannystill one dot and then remove the dot text and when you press enter Windows is going to ask us are you sure you want to change the file name yes of course we do and the next step then is going to be to go back to the github site and you probably recognize this location by now so here's where we're going to go to cannystill.py and raw and actually let's go ahead and copy now so control a control c and now we're going to right click on the Python file and open in PyCharm. And just a moment here while PyCharm opens. Okay, so PyCharm's open for us and we can close out of that and we don't need that. So we're going to go ahead and paste in the code that we copied just a second ago. And one more step that I mentioned, or that I forgot to mention rather, is if we go back and back again, and again you probably recognize this here, OpenCV3 Windows Installation Tutorial GitHub page. Um, you need an image called image.jpg in whichever directory your Python file was in. We can do save picture as and then desktop and it was already there but you can go ahead and save that if you haven't already. So now that we have image.jpg in place we can go ahead and run our Python program and running candy still dot one and there we are. There's our original image. There's our candy edges image and press any key to close that out and then we're going to go back to our github page here so back and then back again and again this is back to the main menu here so we're going to next choose canny webcam.py and then raw and then control a control c move that over and control a control v paste into pycharm and there i am in my apartment and next we will do the red ball tracker And there we go, red ball tracker, raw, and control A, control C, and control A, control V, and let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, we're getting some pretty good detects. Uh, the window on the right shows the ball position, and so everything is all set and working for us. 
So that went uh, pretty smoothly. So uh, next we're going to go on to part three, which covers the installation configuration of MGU CV, which allows us to uh, call uh, OpenCV functions from either uh, visualbasic.net or C Sharp. Uh, see everybody in the next one.